they're excited about Ingram. They they love his game. They love his possession game. They love the heaviness that he brings. Speaking of heaviness, Judd Caulfield tried to go between the legs that time as he was held up on the way towards goal. Penalty called early. The NCHC Rookie of the Year, or Rookie of the Month, excuse me, in the month of January. Good candidate for that Rookie of the Year honor. Schmaltz down low, finding Blake. Great save by Bassey. Look, good looks here on this man advantage. Jandrick to Blake once again. Top unit still out there for Brad Berry's crew. Jandrick the blast off the pipe. De Ritter. Diamond. Another one comes in. Oh, sorry, a great chance on the wraparound. Coop could that time. Trying to catch De Ritter unawares. Now another save by De Ritter on the point shot from Bushy. It's in front of him. A big reason why sometimes it's gone off the rails for this North Dakota team this season. Here comes their offense, though. No problems here. Another stop by Bassey. Jandrick was driving in, looking for the rebounds with a little touch and finesse, who also have the physicality and the grit in their game as well. Here's McLaughlin now. Roofing one over Bassey. Owen McLaughlin on the power play. North Dakota strikes first. Well, since this kid got his first one, he's really been on fire. What does he do? He just finds space. It's almost that simple. Bassey's defaulting already to the RHV, or the RVH, I should say, and that's a, just an awful move for a goalie to use in that spot. That's just that's just not good situational goaltending by a good goalie. But I love the situational read by McLaughlin. All he did was find more space to operate and get his speed going, and then once he beat his defenseman, he went to the net, he saw Bass, he was already down. The challenge becomes, can I put it up and over? He did. Great job by North Dakota. And against the hometown team tonight. Another shot in front, good save by De Ritter, then poked away. Another chance here, and Granola drives one home. Power play strike for Yami Granola. The NCHC goals leader adds another, and we are knotted at one apiece. McLaughlin spinning at the blue line. Farmer, the St. Louis native, looking for space. Another save by Bassey with the left pad. To get a little bonding going away from the rink. Makes all the difference in the world. Again, the St. Cloud State by coming at a good time. And now the power play coming at a great time. A beautiful feed across that Yami Kranla is there to bury for his second power play goal of the night. Two to one, St. Cloud State on top. Husky's ready, fresh bodies on. And now an ill-advised pass here, Spellacy, Kupka, big save by De Ritter to spare his blushes that time. Police is picking off that quiet zone pass. There's McLaughlin now feeding Costantini after McLaughlin had won it back, and now a chance the other way is that puck caroms all the way down for Okabe. His shot gloved, and now covered by De Ritter. Kuntz able to squeeze by the check of Bushy. Lidke there, tied up by James, and one back. Coons trying to stuff it home. The follow-up by Jammernick, denied by Bassey. Another great look for North Dakota. James, by the way, a great skater. The highest drafted player on this North Dakota roster, a second rounder of Detroit. Pressure coming now as Molinar fires one from close range. He sticks with it, and he scores in the end. Joe Molinar on the power play. 3-1, to one, St. Cloud State. Payne now able to help his centerman that time and keep the draw in. That shot by Chandrick. Loose in front. Jake Schmaltz is there. Power play goal for the sophomore center. Welcome back, number eight. And it's 3-2. to two. North Dakota has been real good on faceoffs on this power play. It's another one that they get possession of. It's a secondary win as Hain comes in to pick up a loose puck. Jandrick throws it to the front. The screen by Schmaltz was brilliant. So off the faceoff, once this one Schmaltz releases, you can tell that the goaltender Bassey didn't really see it clean, and that's because Aiden White Schmaltz came through to take his eyes away at the last second and then stayed with it, buries it. And pulls North Dakota within one. Jandrick realized that he had a lane to the net. 
threw it there, and what a play by Schmaltz to release off the dot and get to the front of the net. That might get me another scouting job. <laughs> Here is Gaber now, leaving it for Blake. The magic man able to get the shot away. Bassi able to make the stop in the ends. Create a scramble. Loose puck, Salquist, good feed. Another between the legs chance there is Molinar. As one power play goal was feeling it a bit, DeRitter able to make the stop. Can they find a way back? Hain, cross ice, great find! Reese Gaber in the back of the net! And we are all tied at three! You said he would be heard from at some point tonight! And did he ever pick the right time? And my goodness, was he open. Once again, clean breakout for North Dakota. And boy, did Jackson Blake do an amazing job of settling the puck down. Remember, we talked about the wide lane. So they take that wide lane. The entire coverage for St. Cloud State is now puck watching. All of a sudden, here comes Gaber on the far side. Wide open, great seam pass. It's a wide entry. They used outside the dot lane. They drew the coverage over. Gaber sneaks in the back door, six on five, and he's not gonna miss. Bushy now will retreat and let the clock run out on regulation, and we are headed to overtime here in Grand Forks tonight. If you think back before the bye, first OT game of the second half for UND Jantrick, trying to end it here. Bassey able to make the stop. Blake once again. Waiting, trying the wrap around. Gaber there! Game winner for Reese Gaber! North Dakota with the extra point tonight! It had to beat that man once again! Just a moment ago, I said to you a couple things. One, Gamers had a hot stick, and two, what a job Kuka was doing on Jackson Blake, which he continued to do all the way through to this goal. But Gamer got away from his coverage, and you'll see him come in the back door here. 17, sneaks in, wide open, and buries it. What a third period that this into overtime that he had. St. Cloud State did an awesome job keeping Jackson Blake tied up. Bassey got dragged, he got into a prone position, started swimming, and Gaber, like a shark, pounced on blood in the water and finished